Hi, I am Dr. Pandey. In the present video, we will be discussing arthroscopic treatment of PCL cyst. Cysts are known to occur in ACL and PCL, resulting in chronic pain that persists through day and night, though worse at night. Radiological investigations short of MRI are often non-conclusive and patient is generally taking analgesics for months and years together before the MRI is done since there is no instability or blocking or any major complaint in the knee joint. In the MRI views shown on your screen you can notice a big cyst sitting on the posterior aspect of the PCL which measures 1 cm by 2.3 cm in its maximum dimensions. In the axial view you can notice the cyst extending from posterior to interior between lateral surface of the medial condyle and PCL. It extends into the intercondylar notch leaving an impression extending up to the tibial plateau as noticed in these images. Arthroscopic view of the cyst extending into the intercondylar notch. A thin bluish membrane can be noticed in the inferior aspect of the cyst and this is the ACL that has been pushed literally because the cyst is occupying most of the intercondylar notch. Here we are trying to rupture the membrane of the cyst with the arthroscopic probe so as to decompress the intercondylar notch area. Since we have to make a transeptal approach to the posterior compartment of the knee, gelatinous material has come out of the cyst which is taken care of by suction using the shaver system. And now we are debriding remnants of the cyst wall extending into the intercondylar notch with the shaver system. You can notice healthy intact PCL just posterior to the cyst wall and these are the remnants of cyst wall attached to the lateral surface of medial femoral condyle. Few fibers of PCL can be noticed in the cyst wall which you can see as shreds extending into the intercondylar area when we probe it. We thoroughly debride all the cyst wall from the medial femoral condyle so as to reduce the chances of recurrence of the cyst. And now the shaver is passed between the lateral surface of the medial femoral condyle and the PCL to debride the cyst wall from this interface through which the cyst has extended from posterior surface anteriorly. Now we are creating a transeptal pathway to the posterior compartment of the knee. Shaver is to be used very cautiously in this region because on your left there is PCL and on your right there is insertion of the ACL on lateral femoral condyle. Once we have a track, we expand it using a probe. This minimizes the chances of injury to the ACL or PCL. As you can notice here, almost intact ACL after creating a portal. Through this portal we pass a scope into the posterior compartment and in process of creating a posterior medial portal we press the skin outside to confirm that it's exactly over the spot where we want it and then a single rod is passed from out to in over which a 5 mm cannula is inserted. As expected, the posterior compartment is filled up with the cyst wall and lots of fibrous tissue. Appearance is in contrast to a normal healthy posterior compartment which is lined by a shining capsule posteriorly and femoral condyles and tibia are visible medially and laterally. We decompress the cyst interiorly so as to create some space in which we can work posteriorly. Had we not decompressed the cyst anteriorly, it will be very difficult to create a space into which shiver and camera can work. And now we are debriding the fibrous tissue and the cyst wall in the posterior compartment. And here the posterior midline septa of the knee is clear of the cyst wall. As you can notice, shiny normal capsule is visible on the posterior aspect of the midline septa. After satisfactory debridement from the posterior medial portal, we had to create a posterior lateral portal for which a spinal needle is passed first 
which is followed by a wasinger rod along the axis of the spinal needle over which 5 mm cannula is once again passed we generally do not use these cannulas for the whole length of surgery but they create a track which makes it easy to pass the following instruments now the scope is viewing from posterior medial portal and the shaver comes in from the posterior lateral portal we are taking down the last remnants of the cyst wall that are attached to the posterior capsule and along the inferior posterior surface of the tibial condyles the shaver is to be used very cautiously when it is directed towards the posterior surface because an over enthusiastic debridement can result in injury to the neurovascular bundle and this is the beauty of the arthroscopic debridement or arthroscopic excision of the pcl cyst that you can actually take care of all the compartments the anterior extent of the cyst we have shaven off exteriorly and now we are taking down the last fibers of the cyst wall that have extended far medial into the posterior medial compartment a thorough debridement is must and for which we can repeatedly switch portals since viewing from the posterior medial portal and posterior lateral portal can help us visualize the last remnants of the cyst wall which are being taken care of and now we are examining the posterior compartment from posterior lateral portal medial femoral condyle is clear of all the cyst attachments posterior tibial plateau is clear of any fibrous tissue and this is the menisco capsular junction which is being probed and here pcl is visible we have been slightly gentle on the posterior aspect of the pcl so as not to cause any iatrogenic pcl injury or tear with this we conclude a procedure for arthroscopic treatment of the pcl cyst thank you for watching this video for any queries you can email me at dilbans at the rate of gmail.com the address was mentioned in the beginning of this video thank you